Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. In this video, we will understand how to enable different programs in your Google Merchant Center and what each one is about. Let's start with the signing up process. Here is the sign up page. Click on sign in, and then you will be redirected to verify your store domain. Two aspects need to be verified. Do you have an online store? Select yes or no, depending on your scenario. Do you have a physical store? Select yes or no. Now, click on Create Google Merchant Center. Enter your business information, the country of business, and the name of your store. Click on Continue. To enable the programs, navigate to Growth in the left sidebar. Click on Manage Programs. Let's see how each program helps in advertising your products on Google. The order of the programs in your account may differ from what we have in this demo account. Let's start with the Shopping Ads program, which is important for displaying your ads on Google Shopping results. To activate it, you must set up prior parameters like business detail, verifying and claiming the website, taxes and shipping, product data feed, linking Google Ads account, etc. We have given the link to the help videos about setting up tax and shipping and linking your website in the description below. Please note you will see this notification in a few places while enabling the programs. However, since you are using our app for feed submission, you may safely ignore this process throughout the video. Once all the parameters are approved, you will see the status as active after 2 to 3 days. Regarding the Add Products option, you may use our Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app to submit the feed for this program. The link is given in the description below. If you are using our Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app, you do not need to click on this or try to add product feed manually or through a URL. You can safely ignore this process shown here, as our app will submit the product feed automatically using the Content API method. And once the feed is approved, the Add Product message will change to Product Data Added. After completing these settings and submitting the product feed, Google will take less than 24 hours to verify the settings. You will see the status as continued till then. Once you complete all the steps and Google verifies the setup, you will see the status as active for shopping ads. Next is the free product listings program that allows merchants to show their products on multiple Google properties, including Google Images and Google Search. Click on Get Started, and a new window will open asking for your product and business information and other review policies to agree upon for activating the program. Just like the Shopping Ads program, you must set up prior parameters like business detail, taxes, shipping, etc. If you have already updated these parameters for other programs, you do not have to enter them again. Once you agree to the conditions and activate the program, the status will be shown as active. If you wish to submit product feed only for the free listings program, you can use the Google Merchant Center Next, which is exclusively designed for Google free listings. Let's move on to the Dynamic Remarketing program. You can enable this program simply by clicking on Enable. This program can be enabled for running Dynamic Remarketing campaign to retarget your website visitors who have taken some action on your store, such as viewing the product page or adding the product to the cart. Dynamic Remarketing program is crucial to run Performance Max campaigns and Google Display campaigns. Please note that the merchants who sell adult-oriented and some medical or health-related products can leave this program disabled, as they are prohibited from display ads. If they submit these products for display ads, Google might disapprove them for policy violation. Merchants who have enabled will see the enabled status over here. Next is the Customer Reviews program. This program allows sellers to collect feedback from customers who purchase from their websites. You can enable it by going through the agreement shown here. Once you agree and proceed, you will see the status as enabled. You can easily integrate it using our Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. We have mentioned the link for the app in the description below. Moving on to the next program which is Local Inventory Ads. Local Inventory Ads showcase your products and physical store information for nearby shoppers searching on Google. 
You can enable it by adding the country where you have your physical store and want to show your local inventory ads. Once you complete the steps, you will see this program is enabled. You can submit the local inventory feed from our Simprosis Google Shopping app. Further, this program is available only in selected countries. Moving further, the next program is Promotions. Merchant Promotions is a free feature available in selected countries that allows you to showcase online promotions with your shopping ads on Google. You can enable it by filling out the Merchant Promotions interest form, after which you will have to wait for 24 hours. Once it is enabled, you will see this status. Our Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app will help you create a promotions feed with the required information. We have an entire video on steps for creating promotion feed. The link is attached in the description. Moving to the last one, the loyalty program. This program is available only for merchants in the United States who wish to advertise their loyalty program perks, such as offers, free delivery, and reward points, by integrating it in their Google Merchant Center. To set up the loyalty program, click Get Started on the Loyalty Programs program as shown here. In the program details, add the program name, label, without spaces, description, and a URL for merchants to join. You must also include program levels by clicking on Add Level and filling up these details. Choose benefits like points for purchases and shipping options as per your requirements and submit them. However, please note that Google takes around 72 hours to review your loyalty program before displaying them across Google properties. To know more about the loyalty program, click on the link provided in the description below. As per the official announcement by Google, the Buy on Google program for search and shopping for the US will be discontinued from September 2023. The link is given in the description below. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or feedback. Thank you for watching.